Welcome back to Optometry and Eye Health YouTube channel. So today's topic is about a patient visits to your clinic. Let us consider a child and the mother of the child complains that child is very good in everything and smart but very poor in school performance. They may be struggling with hidden vision problem that impacts the learning known as convergence insufficiency. So today's topic is convergence insufficiency. So what is convergence insufficiency? So that you should understand what is convergence and what is insufficiency. Convergence means the ability to coordinate, to come near and to converge the eyes on your work like reading. So convergence insufficiency means it is the inability to coordinate the eyes on your work and maintaining fusion. So the convergence insufficiency does not go with age. Convergence insufficiency can be detected in standard comprehensive vision screening. And onset of any age you can see this and also usually occurs in people 20s and 30s and also usually occurs in people uh, like 20s and 30s and even in child children also. It is called as convergence insufficiency and it lowers the self-esteem of a child uh, the parents think that child is so lazy. The cure treatment is vision therapy. Uh, vision therapy of 12 to 13 sittings you can give. So let us know the symptoms of convergence insufficiency. What may be the symptoms? The symptoms are very important here. The child will complain of blurring of print, difficulty in concentration, sleepiness, frontal headaches, words are overlapping when they are reading and uh, difficulty in changing the focus. Then you can also see the child is taking little longer time to complete his or her homework. Um, so these are the symptoms. So convergence insufficiency test, how you will test this convergence insufficiency and how can you conclude it? So let me show you a practical demo here. Hello, introduce Hello. about yourself. My name is Ashayat Mazumdar. I am studying a second year in, in second year MIT and I am from Abaya College. Yes, let's begin. So I am testing using this RAF ruler, Royal Air Force ruler or RAF ruler we call this. Here it is 50 centimeter length and movable sliding cube is present with the different targets. So here for convergence insufficiency I am giving a line and a dot target. Okay, here the instructions are you have to ask the patient like first you have to introduce then you have to explain about the test then you have to ask them whether this is getting break then little first they'll tell blur then break then recovery whenever you push back they will fuse they again they'll see it as one so the test you should do uh, more than two to three times you can do even five times also repeat the same procedure so that you, you will come to the accurate value so let's start and you have to clean this now before placing on patient's cheek and you have to incline this to 45 degrees so whenever you are inclining they will be uh, it, it will be easy for them to read Okay, let's begin. Yes, ma'am. Are you comfortable? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Can you see this line and dot? Yeah. I'm going to come forward. So whenever you feel this different, different like uh, blur or break or any thing, please inform us. Okay? okay. Sure. Initially, you can go a little faster. Later, you have to slow down. Okay. Now it's getting blurred. It is blur. Blink your eyes. Still it is blur. Yeah, it's a little blur. Now what happens? Now it's fully blurred. Now? Now it's now two, I think. You are and seeing two. Yeah, Very good. Here. This is the break point. Now I'm coming back. What happens? Now, now it's getting fused. Yeah. Fused? Yeah. yeah, it means he's seeing one. So 12 centimeter. Like this, you have to repeat the test for three to five times. And this kind of patient will have a symptom, like initially they will read, if you give a reading meter, he will read initially faster and good. And prolonged duration, he can't read, he will have difficulty in reading. So like this symptom will be there. So only with this test, we can't conclude. You have so many tests to confirm the convergence insufficiency. So the normal values are 6 to 10 centimeter. If it is less than 5 centimeter, we consider that as convergence excess. And whenever you are taking the measurement two to three times, then you can see eight centimeter, 10 centimeter, 12 centimeter, different, different readings. That means the patient is having difficulty. The eye muscles are not uh, sustaining to converge. So this is all about the topic convergence insufficiency. If you like our video, kindly share and subscribe. Thank you.